Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad, second round, year 1993, because uh, the second round of the Polish Mathematical Olympiad takes place at the beginning of New Year, so it was 1993. Problem number six. Let f be, the fun be a function from the set of real numbers into itself, let it be continuous, such that f of 1000 equals 999, and moreover, this functional equation, f of x times f of f of x equals 1, is satisfied. Find f of 500. So it's a rather, rather quick problem, quick to solve. Here are my hints. First, notice that this, our functional equation says that y times f of y equals y, for all elements of the image of our function, not necessarily for the whole domain, but for the image it holds, because every element of the image can be written as f of x. And use the, the intermediate value theorem, which says that if we have a continuous function defined over the uh, set of real numbers, and we have two values in the image, then the whole interval connecting these two points is contained in the image of our function. I'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so as I suggested, uh, note, notice, first notice that for every element y, which is in the image of our function, y times f of y equals 1. In particular, in particular, in particular, 999 is in the image of our function. Why? Because it's f of, f of 1000. So, 999 times f of, of, of 999 equals 1, which means that f of 999 equals equals 1 over uh, 999. In particular, we see we see that this number is also in the range of our function. So 1 over 999 is also in the range, the image of our function. Now, it's time to use the intermediate value theorem. By the intermediate value theorem or Darbu theorem or Darbu property as, as it is called in some countries. Since, since 1 over 999 and 999 are in the range of our function, we have, we have, we have what exactly? The entire interval, this entire interval is a subset of our image, image of our function. And notice that this number which we wish to find, f of 500, 500 is in this interval. Uh, so, note, notice that 500 is in this interval. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. So, well, how can we find f of 500? Well, from this equation, 500 times f of 100, 500 times f of 500 equals 1. So, f of 500 equals 1 over 500. And that is our result. And that closes our problem.
So yes, thank you very much for watching, I will see you next time, goodbye.